is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today I'm going to take a look at Studio Series 86 Perceptor which funny enough he's not a favorite character of mine or he wasn't and um, I actually plan on skipping him but then I did my voice acting spotlight on Paul Eiding who voices him and I became a massive Paul Eiding fan. He's a, an amazing actor, big range, did a lot of things, served in the army. Uh, check out the video, which I'll link somewhere here. And uh, yeah, um, so because of that, and there was a Black Friday sale uh, at uh, my favorite store, DJC Collectibles. And um, he, uh, they had a pre-orders, 15% on pre-orders on, I think it was Cyber Monday actually. So I picked up a few things on that sale, Perceptor being one of them and i'm very happy the figure is actually quite nice it's already open because you know me i can't i get too excited i need to play with it a little bit and uh so it's not gonna be an unboxing but uh there you go you know perceptor although I, he's, he wasn't one of my favorite characters i can say that i think it's cool that he's one of the few character introduced in season two that was in the movie and then continued on in season three uh, most characters kind of died off either uh, you never saw them again after season two, or you actually saw them killed in season in the movie. So you know it's uh, he's one of those uh, long-lasting robot. Uh, I think the only other one would be Blaster, and then Bumblebee, which we barely saw in both the movie and uh, the uh, season three of the Transformers. It happens, uh, you know. It's it was a big uh, toy commercial back then, so. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take a look at him. Before I do that, though, please check out my voice acting playlist. Uh, the main feature of my channel something I'm rather proud of. Custom evaluation of the Septicon capability indicates a distinct tactical deficiency. Well, let's take a look uh, quickly. I'm trying to shorten my vids because I realize they're quite long for no reason. So, uh, very quickly, uh, we're going to take a look at the instructions. Uh, Studio Series 86 stuff, standard. You can go ahead and pause when you are at the step that you need. There you go. Uh, the gun. Um, I think you know fairly accurate to the uh, the movie. Uh, I don't know if it was the same thing for season two. Maybe it is. I should have researched that before I started talking about it. But I do like the red plastic. Nice uh, details. Not uh, you know too comp. You know for a scientist uh, like Perceptor, it's a decent enough weapon. Uh, I like it. Could have used some uh, more paint, but maybe Toy Axe will do something for this. Who knows? So, but uh, good accessory. The box itself, uh, nothing too fancy, artwork, Studio Series 86, product shots, there you go, the back, top, you know, Transformers, the movie, sorry about that, and yeah, so standard box stuff, you know, it's a box, and then we're going to move Percy, the gorgeous backdrop, well, from the movie, where he meets up with Ultra Magnus to tell him that they're completely doomed being the positive scientist that he is you know that's a good assessment of the situation and uh yeah so i like those uh, those backdrops and then percy himself very very well done i'm loving the head sculpt and the uh the microscope or the yeah at this point at this, at this size it's technically more of a telescope but whatever um doesn't move like the original used to so this is just a fixed block uh, no lands, you know, you can't peer through uh, and then pretend that uh, you're actually doing some science as a kid. Um, you know, this drops down for transformation. Uh, I like it though. I love the colors on this. Uh, it's really good. Uh, cartoon accuracy is great. Love the details on those threads. Could use a little paint. Maybe, I don't know if chrome would be appropriate for this mode, but eh, it's good enough. And then... Uh, yeah, so those are the details. Articulation, the head on a ball joint will do 360. So no worries there. This gets in the way though. The arm does a 360, goes up like this. Of course, then you can do forward and backward like this. Uh, you have a nice 
elbow bend, 90 degree. Uh, the hand will not rotate. So that's, uh, they, they could have used a bit more articulation on the hands. This one here is really tight. There you go. Um, and it's, see this leg goes perfectly straight, but this one here, if you push, mine kicks up a little bit automatically. So it might be too much tension or there's no spring. Maybe there is a spring, but I don't know. Th there's this articulation be because of transformation. It's not really useful in poses. Well, I guess you could do a, maybe a sliding pose like this or a dancing pose. And there you go. Here's uh, Percy at the disco. You can put him like this. Oh, yeah. Full on John Travolta. There you go. Love it. You can split him like a log. Yeah, well, actually, you can do some crazy uh, splits with him. But you don't want to, you know, break him. Knee bend, more than 90. Good work. Rotation at the hip. Uh, mostly due to transformation. No rotation at the knee. You have, well, transformation again. You can bend the uh, the toe and then you have the rocker. No heel. Like a little bit of a heel, but it doesn't uh, really move. Uh, full 360 here. There you go. So that's Percy showing up, showing off his moves. I get too excited when I talk and I mispronounce stuff. So anyway, let's do... Of course, some size comparison with Earthrise Optimus Prime with Toyax decals. Fellow episode made when they go inside Megatron, Braun from the Power of the Primes line. And just for kicks, Siege Chromia taking an aiming pose. And now for what you prefer, transformation. First thing you're going to do is take the head and uh, twist it. Yep, sorry. Turn it. And then put it down. And you want to you want to take this piece and put it on the side. And then oh yeah, you want to pull the arms down, flip it like this, and then push this here. And there you go, transformed. You just put, need to angle it a bit like this. And this is. The microscope mode. Honestly, it's just him holding his hand up, uh, folded down with his legs spread, uh, with a chest open. Not a fan. Uh, honestly, it's for a microscope. I guess it works, but I just think the it's an oversimplified transformation. So Optimus Prime yelled "transform" at some point, and then he panicked and he just did something. You know, it works. I mean, the cartoon model uh, wasn't that different. I mean, the legs were, you know, a little more put together. And so, I don't know. I think this is, I mean, the paint is nice. The the, the details on the scope is nice. You have those little wheels. That's kind of cool. The back, you can clearly see the head. Uh, unless I mistransform and I forgot a panel to clip off. I don't know. I don't think so. Nice ratchet sound. That's always nice. But yeah, he's just, you know, leg opened and that's pretty much it. Not my favorite mode. He's going to be, he's definitely going to be displayed in uh, in robot mode. But there's also the other mode, which is the uh, cannon mode. So let's uh, take a look at how we do this. So what they say to do is push this down like this. And there you go. Cannon mode with the gun attached here. You basically just flip his legs, as you saw. I'm not a fan. So clearly, uh, he's going to be displayed in robot mode. And now to do some size comparison with Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Origin Bumblebee, Earthrise Trust, and Siege Astro Train. All right, let me put him back in robot mode where he's going to be permanently displayed and uh, do my final thoughts. Like the Black Plague did to humans. So guys, in the end, I think I'm a bigger fan of the voice actor than I am of the character. Uh, I understand the importance of Perceptor throughout the season two, three, uh, and the movie. Regardless how I feel about the transformation and the alt mode, he's still one of the best mainline figures. 
and I'm happy to have him on my shelf. I don't think I'll put him on with my movie cast because to me, he's more of a season two character. So he's going to go well with my season two shelf. And that's it. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I offended anybody when I commented about the alt mode. That's really not my goal. I try to be as positive as I can for anything that I do. But if you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care. Oh,